Hello everybody, it's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Pocket Reborn and Doll Nursery. How is everyone today? I hope you're feeling well, been able to spend time with those that you love, that you've been able to accomplish a few things that you set out to do, and I certainly hope you've had some time to play and relax. I'm joined today by one of my beautiful pretty poppets. This is Lucy. She's one of my few babies that I kept her sculpt name. She was sculpted by Tina Cuey, and she is the Lucy Kit, or Lucy Reborn doll. She was reborn by my good friend and very talented artist, Chris Hyden from Tiny Hearts Reborns. I know that you have heard me say this a thousand times, but Lucy is definitely one of my dream babies. I just, not one of them, she is my dream baby. <laughs> Um, the reason why I chose Lucy to be on today is because I had a request from her Auntie Deb and her Uncle Tex, two of my very faithful and lovely friends and subscribers, family members, uh, requested to see her because they just love her. So she is here for everyone, but especially for Auntie Deb and Uncle Tex. So hello. Hello, Auntie and Uncle. I love you, and I love all my aunties and uncles as well, and my cousins. Well, as the title says, I'm going to do a haul today. You know me. I'm just a shopper. I love to go shopping, and I thought Lucy could help me. I guess we could also say that we are participating in Fun Fur Friday, which is a tag from Tamara on Thomason's Reborn Nursery because Lucy has her little monkey friend here. Look at those eyes. He's definitely furry, as you can see. He has a cute little tail, cute little feet. I believe he's a Disney monkey from Dinosaurs, he is. And his name is Suri. So there he is. So I guess we're also doing Fun Fur Friday. It is Friday today. And it's a beautiful day here in Ohio. And uh, I wanted to share this lovely uh, thrifting um, little haul that I got. First, I'd like to show you one of my finds. It's not clothing, but it's definitely for the nursery. I found Noah from Noah's Ark. He is dressed in a burlap, burlap robe. I can speak today. He has a cute little beard, a pudgy little nose. He has a mint green hat on, which he has a bird, uh, again, a bird stuck to it. Here is another little monkey on his shoulders. So there we are for Fun Fur Friday. So I guess this really does work out. As you go down, it says two by two. There is a lion who is definitely furry a giraffe, and over here, there's an elephant. I don't know if you can see him or not. And then he has a cute little plaid green, and, and I guess it's checked, not plaid, a green and black check skirt or robe, and then his little sandals. But isn't he just the cutest little thing? I found him, he was like $3. He was well taken care of. So I got him for the nursery. I think he's adorable. And he also helped us with Fun Fur Friday with the monkey and the lion. <laughs> and now we'll get to the clothing. This is a three to six months Jimboree. It is white with pink stripes. And look at that cute little applique green turtle. It's really pretty, three to six months. So I'm thinking this would fit Jovi, who is my uh, June Awake, seven months. It would fit um, Zoe, my Damie kit. So I have a few dolls that that would fit. This is also, this is an H&M and it's six to nine months. So uh, it's really, really cute. It's a romper one piece, footless. 
It is gray with navy blue stripes. It has the number 58 on it. It does have the hoodie to match that's also gray and navy blue striped. This is from H&M. I think I already said that, though. Uh, this will probably fit Cooper, who is my James Toddler, young James Toddler by Georgia Pigot. Very, very cute. Very, very warm. It's got the fuzz in the inside, so it's kind of really warm for the late fall and winter time. I got this for Journey. Now, I'm not able to handle Journey yet, and when I do, I do have some twinning that Auntie J from J Dolls UK sent us that I want to do, but I did find this cute dress. It is a Wonder Nation. It's a four toddler, which is what size she takes. The top part of it is light pink with like cranberry stars. It's long sleeved. And then it has, it's almost like a cranberry skirt underneath, but then there's a cranberry tool on top of that. Gives it a real elegant look. She has some little pink sand uh, shoes too. So this is going to look adorable. Definitely for Valentine's Day, but I also think it kind of looks Christmassy too with the red. So we'll see. Speaking of Christmassy, I found this little overall. It's called Starting Out. It's a nine months. So again, I'm thinking Cooper. Um, I think it could probably fit Sully, which is my Lee Lopez kit as well. It is almost like a tartan. It's a one-piece romper with no feet, and it's long-sleeved. And there it is. It has buttons down the front, and it's green and red and yellow and white and black tartan. I think this would be really cute for Christmas, too, especially with a little cardigan over it. But it's lovely. It's a cotton material, but just adorable. So I found that. Again, speaking of Christmas, this is a Disney baby, zero to three months. So this would probably fit my Levi kit, Murray. It may also fit my Chase kit, which is a uh, Cabot, but it's a Disney baby. And it again is like a tartan material. Uh, it is a onesie though with black trim, long sleeves. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job here, am I? Long sleeves. It's a tartan material with red and black and white. And it has little Mickey heads all over it. And then I absolutely love this. It has a black bow tie to go on it. So with a little pair of dress pants. Again, that's something he could wear for Christmas as well. So this would be for, like I said, uh, Cabot, Murray. It may also fit. Um, my little uh, Sandy kit. I don't know. It might be a little bit small for him, but that would be John John. So that was adorable. I really hit the jackpot yesterday. I found this beautiful little knit outfit. I can't remember if it has a tag. Let me check really quick while you look at Lucy. Um... No, it doesn't say where it's from. It says it's from Portugal, though. Um, it has this beautiful little knit top with a bow on it. It's kind of gathered at the top a little bit. I do not know how to say uh, what stitches these are. I know it's knit, but I don't know. It has an applique fuzzy bear family on the front. Um, they're fuzzy and it's an applique. Maybe daddy, mommy, and babies or mommy and babies. I don't know, but really, really cute. They are white. One of them has a yellow shirt. They have their cute little faces. There's a beautiful bow and the collar has a little bit of a, um, a, oh, I don't know, lace. Just beautiful. For those of you who are talented and know this kind of stuff, Maybe you could tell me what knit this is. I don't know. And then, of course, it has the little pants to go with that are footed. I thought of 
Lennon McCartney, which is my Ava kit. I also thought maybe my Wood Elf, Fred Elf, um, by Carolla Wedrich. And his name is Pippin Meridoc. He probably could wear this. Again, this is a Tommy Bahama. It's a 12 months. I'm thinking it may fit Burke, who is my Suzanne kit, but if not, it will definitely fit. Like I said, um, Sully, it could fit um, Cooper. Look at, there's a great big dinosaur on the front. He's eating cars and tractors. And then if you open up his stomach, you can see them inside his stomach. So cute. Again, it's from the Tommy Bahamas 12 months. So I'm thinking probably more like Cooper and them would wear that. Although I know Burke would love it. This also is for Journeys. It's a Carter's and it's a five, but that's okay because it's kind of like a swing top. There's a beautiful ballerina on a dusty pink. Look at her little feet. And her skirt is made up of sparkly flowers. Oh, isn't that pretty? And there's some sparkles on the top of stars. And her hair has a little bit of sparkles in it. It's long sleeve. It has a little bit of lace at the bottom. I thought with a pair of leggings or even tights, this would be adorable on Journey. And lastly, I got this. I love weird things. This is a Jessica Simpson it's a three to six months. So I'm thinking Posey Meadows, my Saskia. Uh, possibly, possibly it may fit, um, oh my goodness, uh, Truvy, my uh, little uh, Ju Jupiter doll. But it is really pretty. It has lace on the side. It snaps on the side. And it has... I don't know how to describe the design, but it's gray and peach colored. There's some triangles and circles and dots, and it's a Jessica Simpson, three to six months. Oops. It has long sleeves, and it's footless. Just real pretty. I thought it would look really nice, especially on Posey and Truvy. So that's my little haul. Um... I really, really enjoy shopping. It's probably my downfall. My purse doesn't like it. My pocketbook doesn't like it. But I enjoy so much uh, having a, uh, a shopping day where I go and buy things for the babies. Lucy slept through the whole thing. She doesn't care. I know you've seen this outfit before. I haven't changed Lucy lately. But I thought I would bring her on. She always looks good in peachy pink. And she's just darling. Look at this face. Look at that face. How could you not be in love, huh? Well, I have a couple of exciting announcements. And I know you're going to be surprised, but not surprised. We have some new pretty poppets heading our way. Um, there is a little preemie twin set. And that's all I'm going to say. Some of my friends already know. They are coming um, to join the Pretty Poppets. They are teeny tiny. And like I said, I think Auntie J knows from J Dolls. And I believe Auntie Josie knows, maybe. So they're coming. Uh, it was a definite impulse buy, but um, I just couldn't help myself. And then I did the big no-no. I went on Reborns.com. I found a kit that I really, really wanted. And I'm not going to say any more other than that kit, the baby, not a kit. It's a, it's an actual baby ready to be shipped. Won't be shipping till Thursday. So I'm not sure what date that the baby will be here, but we'll be having a couple of box openings. The preemie twins are coming from California. They just left California last night, or just left the distribution center. I shouldn't even say California because I don't know the answer. So I think both box openings will probably be next week. 
um, but we're excited about it. I don't know why I even bother to say that's it for the year because it never is, is it? Uh, we are really running out of space, but thankfully I have a sweet husband who figures will find a space for them somewhere, right? So be looking forward to those box openings. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have a fun fur Friday. I hope it's filled with wonderful things. I hope you have a brand new beautiful weekend. If you have any plans, if you would like to share them in the comments below, please do. I'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. Of course, if the weather permits, we'll be going to the flea market. I hope it's better than last week. But it's always fun just to go to. It happens sometimes. You either flourish or you famish, right? But anyways, thank you so much for joining us. You know we love you. Auntie Deb, Uncle Tex, all the aunties and uncles, Lucy and all the pretty poppets and I send our love. We say God bless you. We hope you have a perfect weekend, a beautiful Friday night, and just have a lovely, family, fun-filled weekend. And uh, that means with your your family on YouTube too. Uh, we'll be popping back in again, I'm sure. But in the meantime, have a lovely day. God bless you. If you're at home, don't forget to come. Uh, no, I'm sorry. If you're at work, don't forget to come home safely to those who love you. And if you're at home, I know you're busy. I know some days you can barely take a breath. But please take some part of your day to put your feet up, to relax, to enjoy yourself, and don't forget to eat chocolate. Any kind. <laughs> your favorite. And make your day sweet and beautiful. We love you. And we'll see you real soon. Mwah.